Jim, the Ape One Proof. Hello again, humans. It is I, Jim the Ape. And while I'm working on the second of two loosely connected response videos, I wanted to make a quick video talking about a few social media stories that have recently come out. And since I have been informed that maybe I should make shorter videos, at least in addition to my insanely long response videos, I figured I would resurrect a concept that I tried to turn into a video series on my channel a while back, and give it a reboot. Most of you probably don't don't know or don't remember, but back before I had my cartoon avatar, I made a video called The GBU, Episode 1, Definitions. It was meant to be the first in a series talking about certain concepts and the good, the bad, and the ugly aspects of them, hence GBU. Well, I couldn't think of any other concepts to do another one on, and not too long after that, the entire aesthetic of my channel changed. So, now I will be rebooting this concept and making videos about three different stories, or viral videos, or whatever. One good, one bad, and one ugly. With flexible reasoning as to why each story is under the category I put it under. And right off the bat, we have a stretch because today's good story is only good because of the reaction this person got, both in the room at the time and on the internet after the video went public. Basically, what happened was, at a college in South Africa, there was a moron spouting bullshit about how, to put it as simply as possible, science is inherently racist because racial oppression happened in the past i.e. slavery, apartheid, etc. So it should be dismantled, and we should basically start from square one, which probably would mean something like going back to the Stone Age. Now, that sounds retarded on the face of it, but she was using a lot of polysyllabic words, which I suspect she was doing not because she knew what they meant, or that that's her preferred method of speaking, but because she was trying to disguise the obvious stupidity of her arguments, and make herself sound smarter than she actually is. The highlights for me was when the other people in the room were laughing at her towards the beginning. Also, she said something about witch doctors claiming to be able to strike people down with lightning, and how do you explain that with Western science? To which a very simple but effective response was given by someone in the room saying, it's not true. Also, there was a bit of Orwellian thought policing as some kind of moderator admonished the aforementioned three-word rebuttal with claims that it was antagonizing the space, or some such nonsense. But perhaps the best part was when Little Miss Anti-Science stopped speaking and picked up her tablet. You know, that thing that is a direct byproduct of the Western science she hates so much? For the bad, I wanted to briefly talk about the fact that clown hysteria is gripping the country, and perhaps even other countries, as disturbing clown sightings are popping up all over the place. It has people so on edge, some are probably having a fight or flight response to even seeing a clown in the first place, regardless of whether its intentions prove to be sinister or not. Of course, there's speculation that a lot of this has to do with it being October, and that after Halloween, this will all die down. But you never know. It's got so bad, Target pulled a lot of their clown costumes, and police departments have issued statements about it. Some of which were of the, if you see something, say something variety. Which is also used for suspected acts of fucking terrorism, like a backpack left on a subway. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of clowns, but by no means do I assume that they're all psychopathic killers out to end me and smile while I I die. Granted, if I see one in real life, I'm likely to keep my distance. But whether I would call the cops on that motherfucker depends greatly on the specifics of how they look, how they're acting, where they are, etc. It's kind of funny because the initial intention of clowns is to bring joy and entertainment to children. And I suspect the image of clowns really took its first major downturn with the actions of one John Wayne. 
Wayne Gacy. You know, the serial killer who buried children in his basement? Also, Stephen King's It probably didn't help. So, I can't say don't dress as a clown this Halloween because I have no authority over you to tell you what to wear, but I would caution against it as the current hysteria over clown sightings and strange occurrences could cause people to act irrationally towards you, and you could be hurt, or worse. This has been your public service announcement from a 600-pound talking gorilla. And last but not least, I wanted to talk about the ugly side of humanity and the mob mentality. It was an incident where Lauren Southern was assaulted at a public event by people who subscribe to the ideology that I regularly argue against. You might call it modern feminism, or social justice, or cultural authoritarians, but I like to call them cry bullies, because they try to bully people they disagree with into silence, while simultaneously crying that they're being systematically oppressed. So, an androgynous pile of repugnant filth attacked Lauren Southern in front of a crowd of witnesses and a camera that was filming the whole thing. Ironically, I believe the mass of cohesive fecal matter possesses a Y chromosome, meaning that its actions could be seen as violence against women perpetrated by a man. But I won't be dignifying that thing by by pretending it's human. So after the assault happened, a similar pile of undigested waste wearing a distinct yellow beanie told the police officer on scene that it didn't see anything. Which was curious because said collection of repugnant ooze can be seen in the video standing not three feet away when the attack happened. Not to mention, it spoke in a voice that conveys deception in the most obvious way, as if being sarcastic, or being an inexperienced and therefore quite incompetent liar. This accumulated ball of putrescent pus has been dubbed by the internet as smugly puff, due to its smug facial expressions and similarity in size and shape to the one they call triggly puff. With any luck, both aforementioned piles of garbage involved in the incident will be collected by local sanitation workers and taken off to a landfill where they belong. And hopefully Lauren Southern is okay, though the attack did not appear to be exceptionally brutal in its effect. Regardless, it's still inexcusable. But that's it for this video. How do you like the new version of the GBU? Let me know in the comments. And if it's well received, maybe I'll do more like this. Only time will tell if this video is short enough for my liking. Get it? time. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I always appreciate that. If you didn't, feel free to give it a thumbs down. I don't care. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description. And if you really like me, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Even small amounts can help me out a lot, and I would really appreciate the support. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Stay great, apes.